Michael here. <clears throat> um, today we are going to be um, looking over uh, the Armor King matchup that I had faced uh, as promised <clears throat> because I want to continually get better. Um, I'm not someone who has a lot of time to focus on execution so my primarily focus I primarily am focusing on matchup data and things like that to improve my gameplay at Tekken. There will be a time where execution um, is important, but I really believe that execution isn't that important until um, probably mid-ruler ranks. I think that execution is probably really important mid-ruler ranks to about Fujin uh, level ranks. Um, <clears throat> so I accidentally played some matches with a friend and overrided, uh, <laughs> overrided a lot of the data. But I do have a couple matches here and their losses, so hopefully they have a lot of information. I don't have Armor King, so this isn't going to be one where we watch the matches and then I lab the matchup. It's going to be um, we just watch the matches, look at the properties, um, look at where I wasn't punishing, and say, okay, next time I'm going to use down forward 4-4 four four on this minus 13 frame punish that had decent pushback or something like that. Um, and that's just that's just how we're going to do it. Okay. Hopefully this isn't too boring, but if you don't know the Armor King matchup, you know, this will be helpful. Round one. Fight. We just want to make sure that the CPU's attack info. We want to display player attack info. We're going to hide because I know Kazuya's most, <laughs> let me rephrase that, I know most of the properties to my uh, move. Health gauge, hit properties, display, recovery animation, opponent frame info. We're going to do detailed display. Um, recommended punishes, you know what, let's, let's go ahead and display that just because then it'll pause. Yeah, we want to pause on recommendations. Uh, recommended sample combos, keep that off. Uh, let's see here. Okay, I think that is good. I think that's what we want. Okay. So he's only plus one on that. I, I might have been able to jab out of, out of some of that. Here. Yeah, following up with that my, that 13 frame. Okay. Unless that put me in a crouch. I do wish that the game said the status of the hit that you were in. Okay, minus 9. Yeah, so I'm going to get that one a lot. Uh... I just want to see. Okay, so it's his right arm that it jabs forward, and then it's a, <clears throat> and then it does the high kick. And is that his 13 frame? No, that's a 14 frame move. So I didn't have to eat all that. I could have probably jabbed out at some point. And this is minus nine. I was respecting it almost like it was plus frames, just because of the way it felt when it hit. Um, but I really needed to duck that, which is sometimes, and like I knew that during the match, it's just sometimes that that's hard to do. Sometimes you just see a move and you know it's, like Paul's 3-2. Um, I know every time I should duck that, but ducking it mid-play, you know, it, it takes a certain skill level to be able to do that. And that's where if I had Armor King... Um, I, I would be able to lab that a little bit better, but we're not going to be able to. So trying to recognize the move here is going to be the important thing. Yeah. 
I, I do wonder how much. I have no idea how negative his hop kick was. Okay, so that wasn't a bad punish choice for that. Terrible decision there. Excellent punish, Rapid Scar. <laughs> I don't know what I could have done. He was coming in with a low a lot. He was, and even poking out neutral with lows. Just because... Taz Tazio doesn't have... I mean, like, if I did down forward one there, I could have kept him out. And I, I did do that at one point in the match. But yeah, that was, that was kind of killing me with the lows. Because you're Kazuya, you want to throw electric. Sometimes you just can't, like, you can't, you play opponent like this, you can't throw electric. Okay, how negative was that? Minus six. Okay, that was a perfect setup then. If I'd have been more patient. Or maybe a homing move. One plus two, I like to use as kind of like a panic move with Kazuya to interrupt stuff because a lot of evasiveness that your opponent might have for follow-ups it usually gets and that's that you know but if that that move was just really that move was really good and evasive so armor king has some damage too Perfect. nut punch was really getting me round three fight Okay, I plus one. That was like an 11 frame move. And I used the 12 frame move. Okay. I should jab more often. Yeah. I know. I know. Where's he can. Okay, so... I did ask the question, is dark up or a high? It is. I think it's punishable too. I think it's, I think it's a hard punish, but... Yeah. Next one I think is the one you key charge me in, so that'll be fun to relive that scenario. Love being key charged. Everyone does. <laughs> it was. I think it was a celebratory. I don't even think it was a toxic key charge. I think it was one of those ones like it was a close. Ma well, actually, I don't think I even had the. Oh no, this is his promotion. It was a close match, and I think that it was. He was just celebrating because, like, he came out on top, and he did make a comeback in that last round. See that keep out right there? <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do with that? I wish I had a hop kick so bad at some points in this matchup, but like that's the thing. Yep, yeah, while staying one two, and I do wall rising uh, two here the first time, and then I get the wall standing one two. Yeah, that's fourteen frames. I'd like to see how negative some of those kicks were, but I don't know if I blocked any of those or have. Yeah, yeah, I go messing that up. Yeah, that, that little kick thing isn't that plus, so I don't think 1-1 one, one is a bad option after that, unless he starts doing that counter hit thing, which I think is probably what a lot of Armor Kings would do if I wasn't a red rank, because, you know, it's like Kazuya's forward 4 and the down forward 2, you know. A lot of people are waiting for that punish, um, so sometimes you can health sweep after that and get away with it because people are wanting me down towards you. How negative was that? Oh, yeah, that's got good minus frames on block. That was minus 14 there. There's, you know what? I don't know. I might have. Down forward four. Maybe, maybe forward forward two could have punished there, but that would have been, that'd be a hard punish. 
That'd be a super hard punish if forward four doesn't reach. I mean, down forward four. Perfect. Round three. Fight. <laughs> It's actually kind of funny um, how I used wall standing to to try to launch non-launchable uh, lows in this game, but my standard go-to is to block a hell sweep or a snake edge and then go to wall standing for. Hazia's down back four has amazing frames on block. Round four. Only minus 11. Fight. That's actually probably a hard punish for a lot of people. That was a lot. KO. Down four, one, two. Sometimes I just assume that uh, the player is probably good enough to duck the down four, uh, one, four every once in a while, and then I'll throw that. Seems to backfire most often than not, because it's one of those moves that only really good players can duck. But yeah, me and my friend were talking about that. But there's some moves like you you know you're supposed to duck. It's just uh getting there can be so tough. Yeah, here here he has an amazing comeback. But I'm also I get a little I was a little stressed. Yeah. Huh. Wow, that is negative twenty. Okay. I could have had an <laughs> an eighteen frame win god fist to punish that. Wow. That's something I would have never thought. I thought I saw that and thought I should have down forward four four that or one plus two that. I don't know if one plus two would have reached. It might have. It might have. One plus two with Kazi is kinda like my go to longer range punish when one one doesn't connect because uh it usually gets a if they don't tech the knockdown, they get a forward facing knockdown. Which is amazing Oki for Kazuya, and it sets everything up. Yeah, so... Yeah, it's just celebratory. Yeah, good for you, man. You're Sarayu, and I am not. Alright, well, that is the breakdown of those matches. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know if there's something that I could have been doing to win this matchup that you saw that just wasn't happening. If it's anything that I mentioned like that duck, um, just tell me to get good. <laughs> so, alright. Thank you, Airborne Cow.